Do you think we have one of the most, um, I mean, the strictest uh, data privacy laws? Because I went to the PNP well, uh, the other day to complain about uh, being scammed online. Okay. And they were complaining about our Data Privacy Act that has not mm. helped them pursue mm. those uh, who commit identity theft. That's that's what a lot of that's what they always uh, throw <coughs> yeah, it back balagi, to, right? They, they always like, throw it back yeah, to saying, when you oh, when you deal with banks, can, especially, yeah. um, they're very tight on account holders. Even if you explain, okay. and apparently, even if it's the police they can't trying just to release get names, oh, oh, parang, information. Tagal, kumbaga, parang, uh, There's a whole process behind it. Ano. Yeah. I mean, in your time there, um, what do you think about our data privacy laws? How can we improve it? I don't think there's a matter of it's it's a matter of improving the law. We're not the only country that has, has the same type of mechanism or framework when it comes to data privacy. I think the most of the problem comes from a lack of understanding in terms of what is actually needed in order to get the information that you need um, under the Data Privacy Act. There's nothing in the law that stops the flow of information. There's nothing in the law that stops our law enforcement agencies from getting the information that they need. It's just that they have to go through a proper procedure, which is... You can't just have some random police person go to a bank mm. and ask, wait, what's the name and yeah. account number of so-and-so person? Mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. there is a process that they have to follow, and that process is the PNP's process. Mm. PNP can issue a subpoena, for example. So if they really need information, then they can go through their process and ask properly Kailan to the bank. Kailan nakakalusot na? Kasi ngayon, uso ngayon yung using uh, e-wallet accounts. Okay. And then, hindi naman, kumbaga, parang, hindi nila ma-pursue who's behind that kasi they can't get data from the telcos mm -hmm. to be able to pursue the case and now they, they're there with another number. There was a lot no? of misconception on that before and the commission actually issued a decision saying that a lot of the requisites before were actually wrong because there was an instance when, especially during the pandemic, you buy something you pay through one of these payment gateways, payment wallets, then you don't get what you pay for. Then now you're going after the person. You ask them, hey, what's the name of the person who sold something to me that I never got? The requirement before was you need to get a subpoena from a court. But in order to get a subpoena from a court, you need to know who you're filing exactly. against. And if you can't mm -hmm. get the name, then it's never going to have happened that you're mm. going to get the subpoena. And the decision of the commission there was the, National, the Data Privacy Act was never issued to allow the perpetuation of fraud. Mm -hmm. It's just that you have to go through. Again, if someone is requesting, we want to also make sure that the request is valid. Like You can't just give the name mm -hmm. and number of any person mm -hmm. just because some random person asks. Mm -hmm. So but what we said was, show us that there is an actual claim. So screenshots of the fraudulent transactions will help. Then from there, they can give you the name because that's actually part of what is considered lawful basis under the Data Privacy Act, that you want to file a case against a particular person who defrauded you. But why in, is it uh, faster in other countries? I mean, I think it's faster in other countries because they've, they're already used to it. Mm. Here, we are used to how things were before, mm -hmm. where you can shortcut a lot of the processes. So again, cultural? I think it is, mm -hmm. but I think it's also both a lack of awareness and also a lack of education. Because we've tried to raise awareness since the commission mm -hmm. was formed in 2016. Mm. But based on our 2021 survey, it's only 25% of individuals who know about the Data Privacy Act. But awareness is one thing. Education is an entirely different thing. You want to get it a step further so that people now understand what do they need to do. But not just the data subjects, not just us as individuals, but also companies. Mm -hmm. What are the expectations when it comes to companies processing personal information? Mm -hmm.